Hi, and welcome to our Language Dim Sum Import and Export series. Today, we will be looking at the practical trade terms and vocabulary in Chinese. Learning Chinese with Language Dim Sum. Our lesson will be presented in the following format. The word at the top is English. Then the words below in orange are the romanization which is how to pronounce Chinese phonetically. Romanization is pronouncing Chinese words using English phonetics. Our style of romanization consists of Yale romanization, as well as the system we have compiled through the years of teaching non-Chinese speakers. Under the romanization, are the Chinese characters. Lastly, the words in green are the pinyin and tones. Pinyin is the official modern phonetic system of Chinese characters based on their pronunciation in the 20th century. The tones in Chinese are very important as they can change the meaning of each word. Each tone is allocated a number from 0 to 4, this will help you to pronounce the words correctly. For more information, please refer to our language dim sum, foundation course, Pinyin. Trade terms. Supposed you are importing goods from your supplier. The stocks are in place, and you are in the process of negotiating the price and logistics. Let us have a look at the most common trade terms. Buyer. My ja. My ja. My ja. Buyer. Seller. My ja. My ja. My ja. Seller. An easy way to remember the difference is when you are buying, your tone is hesitating. You don't know if you want to buy it or not. But when you want to sell it, my, did you hear it? It is affirmative. You are pushing it. You are commanding it. You want to sell this item. My, hesitating. My, affirmative. X works or X factory. Gong chang jiao huo. Gong chang, factory, jiao huo, deliver goods. Gong chang, jiao huo, ex work or ex factory. EXW, ex works or ex factory, the most straightforward and lowest risk term for the seller. The responsibility of the seller is to prepare the goods only. Once payments are clear, the buyer arranges their own logistic to pick up the goods from the seller's factory. X factory prices are low because the buyer buys from the factory directly. Free on board. Li an jia. Li an jia. Li an means leaving the shore. Jia means price. Li an jia. Free on board. FOB free on board. FOB is a common trade term as the buyer and seller bear the responsibility and cost equally. The seller from country A prepares the goods, bears the cost of logistics to deliver the goods to the ports, clear the customs and have the goods loaded on the ship. Once the goods are loaded on the ship and ready to be shipped to country B, the buyer will release the payment and bear all cost and risk from there on. Insider's Secret the main challenge that FOB terms face is the shipment from country A to country B. Some incidents occur where the buyers release the payment because there is proof that the goods are on the ship. But for some strange reasons, the shipment does not arrive at the designated ports. That is why most buyers preferred the CIF method. Cost, insurance and freight where they are willing to pay a much higher fee, to ensure that the goods will arrive at their designated ports before they release the payment. The colloquial Chinese term for CIF is Dao An Jia. Dao An means reaching the shore. Jia means price. Dao An Jia. Dao An Jia. The colloquial term for CIF. Cost, insurance, and freight. Cheng Ben Bao Xian. 加运费 成本, cost 保险, insurance 加, add 运费, freight 成本 保险, 加, 运费, 
成本、保险加运费。The CIF terms protect the risk of the buyer because the seller will have to bear the cost of the goods, logistics to the ports, custom clearance, 10% insurance based on product cost and freight cost to the designated port. In the seller's point of view, they are willing to take this risk because they have the capital to do so, and the price setting will be much higher. Once the goods reach the buyer's designated ports, payments are to be released. As the method of payments, we can choose from the following methods: bank transfer, 银行转账，银行 bank， 转账 transfer， 银行转账，银行转账 bank transfer。Western Union, 西联汇款，西联 Western Union， 汇款 money transfer， 西联汇款，西联汇款 Western Union。Letter of Credit， 信用证，信用 credit。证 certificate or proof， 信用证，信用证 ，letter of credit。letter of credit， the letter of credit is a bank guarantee letter that is commonly used for international transaction， ensuring prompt payments。inside a secret。International buyers see the letter of credit as an endorsement from the local bank and an indirect method of a company check. By having a letter of credit, this proves the financial stability and trustworthy of the company. Please note, the information contained herein is not intended to be a source of advice or analysis concerning the material presented, and the information and/or documents contained in this website do not constitute investment advice. All information is intended to be used and must be used for informational purposes only. Please take independent financial advice from professionals. Conduct independent research and verify the information.